I got a horror movie here that kind of came out of nowhere. Uh, or rather, came out of the thrift store, I guess. This is Dawn of the Living Dead. So you've heard of Night of the Living Dead, right? Black and white George Romero zombie movie from the late 60s. That had a sequel, Dawn of the Dead. So this movie, with a title like Dawn of the Living Dead, uh, has nothing to do with any of those other movies, but it basically rips off the title of those first two movies. This is a movie from 2006. It is written, produced, directed, and stars a guy called David Hevener. Now, I'd never heard of this guy before, but I'm guessing he's kind of like uh, Neil Breen. You know, you watch any YouTube video movie reviewers and they'll talk about Neil Breen, who is like, you know, the guy self-produces his own movies, these like vanity projects. That's exactly what this is, but for a different guy. It's really dumb, it's really derivative. So, okay, David Hevener, he's gotta be the star, right? I mean, he's not the main character, but he is in most of this movie. And then you get Todd Bridges. Yeah, Todd Bridges was the older brother of Gary Coleman on different strokes. I believe in the mid 80s um, got arrested for something. Uh, this movie is like, hey, we got Todd Bridges. Y'all remember Todd Bridges, right? You know, people have heard of him, so they put him in this movie. He's in zombie makeup the entire time, so you don't really even see him at all. You don't recognize him at all. And it doesn't matter that he's even in this movie. They could just be saying that, hey, Todd Bridges is in this movie, and we just bought the rights to use his name or something, and whatever. What it is, it's about a couple that moves to a previously abandoned house in the desert somewhere, uh, near somewhere near the border of Mexico in the southwestern US. In this house previously the family was uh, murdered. Family of Mayan descent. And you know being murdered in this house and not properly laid to rest or buried or whatever. Uh, they come back to life as zombies because of some Mayan prophecy and you know hocus pocus and whatever and uh, it's uh, a really dumb story makes no sense so there you really you, you only get like six or seven zombies in here but it's not like the George Romero concept of zombies where you know they get bitten and infected and spread all over the place no this is just this one little local band of like seven people that just rise from the grave to eat people and has like a prophecy and the, for some reason they find these like clearly styrofoam carved heads uh, that are supposed to look like Mayan statues or whatever they find a bunch of them all over the place when somebody picks one of these up and they don't even pretend that it like weighs a whole bunch they just throw it on the ground and you, it, you just hear the sound of styrofoam hitting the ground and it bounces like styrofoam it's like so cheap uh, so there wasn't a whole lot of budget in this movie um, the zombie makeup I guess is okay like uh, okay if, you know, you see the same in any Comic Con anywhere. Uh, the gore is also kind of, um, you know, looks kind of cheap, but it's there and it's it's okay. There really isn't that many gory scenes. There's more scenes of uh, there's a lot of shit in here that really makes no sense. I want to say it's a pretty slap together movie. Kind of the first about 10, 15 minutes of this movie really reminded me of an old 70s movie. I don't know what it was, like maybe the cinematography, maybe this is, I have a feeling this was actually shot on film. Maybe they're using a filter or something to make it look like a 70s movie. But it, the, it looks grainy and it looks gritty and it looks like, you know, the, the pacing of the actual uh, storyline in the first 10 minutes as things are revealed slowly and you know, it's, it seems as good a quality as you would find with something like from 1975, some kind of thriller or horror or whatever. So it had that going for it. It looked pretty good until you get to the effects. Like, I mean, there's some spots in the end, like where there's like clearly CGI effects in there. 
uh, some of which look like they're just plugged right in from Adobe Photoshop or something like that. So about three quarters of the way through the movie, I was kind of like, uh, "This is why am I watching this? This is totally not worth my time." Yeah, it looked pretty in the beginning, but it, the you know, novelty of that had worn off, and the acting is horrible, and the dialogue is terrible. Uh, still not as bad as Ape vs. Monster. I don't know if you remember that one. But I have just about given up on this movie, and I was like, okay, well, this seems like the climax, so it's going to be over right away, and I can turn it off. But they surprised me right at the end with the funniest scene. I laughed my ass off. I almost fell out of my chair laughing so hard at the zombie evil cannibal baby scene. Uh, what I mean to say is uh, they discover a baby, a zombie gave birth to this baby, and it's a zombie as well, and it's like, it's this mutant baby or whatever, and they hear it crying, and they go to, you know, examine it, and it, it like, attacks the one guy, of course, and, like, he's biting his neck, and it's just clearly a doll, and it looks so funny, it looks like, you know that scene in Something About Mary where Ben Stiller's wrestling the little, little dog with... Uh, it, it looks so much like that and you even get like some of the punches in there and stuff this guy punching this evil zombie babe I just lost it that and the clever cinematography in the beginning are like the two things that saved this movie from being an F so I'm gonna go ahead and give Dawn of the Living Dead a D yeah a D for dumb and you probably don't want to watch this movie but if you can stick it out to the very end to see that zombie baby scene that might be worth it for you yeah Dawn of the Living Dead um, it's not good but it is a horror movie so it does qualify for this month's October Horrorathon sorry I couldn't give you a better one but until next time have a good one everybody